So it is time to do a what's in my purse. Men always want to know what women carry in their purse and I don't know why. It's usually a collection of junk if we're honest about it. But let's look and see. This is my favorite purse. I know it's not very goth. I asked for a black one for Christmas and did not get it. But I love my Vera Bradley. It is so soft and so comfortable. No, it, it totally throws off my all black goth look, but I love it so much. I wanted a, Vera Bradley has a Disney line and I wanted a Disney purse really bad, but could not afford one because the Disney are more expensive than the regular Vera Bradley's. So I just went ahead and treated myself and got a regular one. I love the colors in this. Um, and I mean, purple's goth. The pink and purple, the, the dark purple's goth. Okay, so, um, but I'm hoping that I can get the same bag in solid black um, one day. So, because then I'm gonna put like pins and punk buttons and safety pins and shit all over it, which is what I really want to do. Okay, so anyway, let's see what's in here. The first pocket, you know, it would help if I had my glasses on so I could see. Okay, first pocket is an address of a friend and a Molly Green card, which I think has $7 left on it. Crackers. Um, Matt and I had crackers in the car the other day in case we got... Where did we go the other day that we were worried about? If we, oh, uh, we went to the women's march and we brought crackers just in case we got hungry because my blood sugar will drop sometimes. That's not for Snoo. Not for you. And a piece of toilet paper. <laughs> okay. I've got change it feels like this is probably all the money I have to my name so yeah I've got one two about 257 right there so that's it I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this back in the front pocket with the Molly green card because hey it's money That goes back in there. Okay. Now in the back pocket, this is the Vera Bradley uh, hipster, crossbody triple zip hipster. So I have two Sharpies. I don't know why. I have an e.l.f. lipstick in nude, which I freaking love this lipstick. It goes on like a pencil. I think Marie went and uses this as well, so she knows how awesome it is. I have business cards from for my husband's boss because sometimes uh, when we're out, we will talk to people about their cars. If, if we, my husband can, we can go to another state and be in a store, and he will run into somebody that they've restored their cars or restored the car of a neighbor down the streets, dog, brothers, uncles, whatever, and he'll remember what they restored. And so I carry business cards for his business. To help them out um business card for photography business card for brian burks he is an artist he uh his facebook page is brian burks art um he is awesome he look him up you can also go on the facebook page punk rock art and he is also on there it's burks with an X. He is awesome. So, um, a card for band merchandise, AT&T, 10% off any thrift store purchase because they give you these when you donate. And that's one that I haven't received. See, this, this is my problem. I, a napkin. Okay. 
this is my problem. I collect receipts and paper and junk because I mean to throw it away. This is a very controversial button. I don't know if I'm going to show you that because I really try to kind of keep the politics off of my page. Um, lip liner, lip gloss, uh, another Sharpie. You can never do, I mean, Sharpies, come on. Um, straw paper. See? See what, see what I'm talking about? Okay, now we're going to go into the big. Okay, first thing I pull out, uh, this is an Ipsy bag that my friend Bess gave me, and it's got cute little, it's got a little witch and a spell book, a magic potion, vampire fangs, yada yada, all the cool stuff that is me, and it's got like a little ghosty charm. But inside here... I have my black lipstick, my Urban Decay uh, mascara, one of my favorite rings, eyebrow thingy, eyeliner, brush. This is this is makeup that I can't leave the house without. Um, brushes, lip liners, uh, Elf eyeshadow. There's a spoon ring in the bottom here. I usually wear that on my thumb. So I've got the e.l.f. black palette eyeshadow. Um, this came in the Ipsy bag. Uh, it's, I wear it occasionally, but it's a little, when you put it on, it looks dark red like a wine, but when you put it on, it's kind of a little pinkish for me. Uh, sometimes I wear pink, but not often. Uh, eyeliner brush from MAC. This is a really good brush. Uh, another felt tip liner. I'm addicted to those. Um, this is an eyeliner that I actually use to help fill in my eyebrows. Uh, this is black eyeliner that I use to outline my lips when I do red. And this is my red elf. Very interesting. Monkey, you cannot have to go out again. You just came inside this thing. You just came in. Are you going to help me? Oh, thank you. Uh, this is a big thing of Excedrin, but this one's not Excedrin. It's got two ginger pills and a Tums in there. Because you don't ever want to leave the house without something for your stomach. Um, a few ibuprofen. This is actual Excedrin migraine. Don't leave home without it. I have to have it. Um, this is a Vera Bradley like little wallet clutch thing that... A wristlet that a lady gave me when I used to live in the apartments. And it's got an Excedrin coupon in it. And a Walmart gift card, which I think has $1. But this is actually what the camera I'm filming on. It's the perfect size to go in here. So when I throw that camera in my purse, I actually put it in this wristlet because it's quilted. And that way it protects my camera while it's in my purse from getting scratched up or banged around or whatever. So, you know. Um, this is my wallet. I've had this for years. It is a hard case wallet. I love it. I want to say I think I got it at Rue 21 or Wet Seal probably about 2008. So I've had it for a long time and it's got my info in it, which I will not show you. Um, Germex. Don't leave home without it. Okay, I've got another pocket. This small interior pocket has got change in it. That's probably about 78 cents. Um, I have a pen. This is my favorite pen in the whole world. It is a Falcon Tire pen. Um, I got this, I think, when I was working at the parts store. And I do not let... I'm weird about people using my pens because people take pens... And when I was in merchandising, this woman that worked at Walmart, I was merchandising in Walmart, and this woman was like, I need a pen. So I lent her my pen, and then hours went by, and I was like, where's my pen? And I walked the entire store and found her walking out of the store. She had clocked out. She was going home, and I said, I want my pen. And I know you think, boy, that's anal. It's my pen. It writes really, really well, and it's my pen. I like it. You always got to have a pen in your purse. 
receipt. Receipt. More stomach pills. I, I, I have to take ginger a lot, so I just pour ginger pills or whatever. Um, this is Natural Blend Wet n Wild Lip Shimmer. This works better than chapstick if my lips are cracked. I put some, but this has got like a pink tint to it, so if I feel like going nude, I use that. Um, my comb, but it's not a comb. It's a knife. It's a very hard plastic knife, and I use that just in case. My other falcon pen. Yes, I have two. Um, flashlight. Um, hmm. My keys. I've got a spark plug gapper <laughs> because, well, I work on cars. Um, the truck key, my house key, and my car keys, and then a Hollywood keychain that my friend Ivan sent me. Receipts. Receipts and a pink hair tie. Pink. So, see, I'm not opposed to pink. Another pink. I had two pink hair ties? How did I end up with two pink hair ties? I don't buy pink hair ties. This is a mystery. And another receipt. And a black scrunchie. Yes. A scrunchie. I said it. I will not apologize for the scrunchie. And that's it. That's that's my whole purse. Oh! I forgot there was change in that loose pocket. Oh. <laughs> Mama don't have any sense. Har har. Monkey doesn't get my bad joke. I'm going to put this in the front pocket with the other change so that does not happen again. So, there you have it. That's what's in my purse. Uh... A lot of junk, a lot of paper, a lot of pills, and two pens that I'm extremely, extremely anal about. So, there you go. <laughs> that was fun. And it gives me time to clean the junk out of my purse. Things that I don't use or whatnot. Whatnot. Sound like uh, Hank Hill, King of the Hill. Hi, Snoo. So, there you have it. That's what's in my purse. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Bye. Mommy has a lot of junk.